Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Virgos, we're trying to get these cards together. Hopefully you all are having a great weekend. I know you are because that's the intention you set. This video is going up early or at least the tip of the weekend. Hopefully you're going into the weekend with great intentions. We're going to get ready for this full moon. All right, let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Virgos as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Virgos need to take action. These cards are really trying to jump out of the deck. What is going on? Virgos, this is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's go. All right, Virgos. Uh-huh. I see this big old heart you all have, um, and some people have really tried to stomp all over that big heart. Here we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. Make a little room here. We have the Eight of Wands. We also have the Six of Wands. We also have the Emperor card. Uh-huh. We also have the Tower card. Yes, 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 yes. Some people who have, um, some people who were in a, in a position of authority, right? Who actually saw you in a position of authority, of authority. Like, so they saw you as, they saw you as being a person who is a leader, someone who is amazing self-confidence, someone who is very powerful. Like when you really learn how to just get that fire up under you, um, really just being a boss right and so and on top of that you deeply care about people your heart is really really big and so preserving that they are going through their karma right now some of you all will have um download messages because the the moon which we're going to experience tomorrow the full moon has been illuminating everything leading up to this right so this means when we the moon is uh moving towards a full moon we don't have control over anybody else's emotions so people have been some people have been acting like complete crazy people right just really just especially i don't even want to say any sign in particular because it can really be any sign um huh so if it was a fire sign because this could be uh, fire or water right here they may have been like constantly burning you like constantly or manipulating you emotionally right but they're experiencing their their um it, they could have been in aries but they are having a tower moment or somebody may have had aries in their chart they're having a tower moment right now because they ended up burning you right and so it's things are not going well for them at all so let me tell you something the full moon lets you know virgo that you truly are good enough you know and so you all worrying about things are just going to attract more worry right because you all are already a magnetic sign so overthinking it is going to cause you to think even more and more and get frustrated with people around you who who is not getting sucked into your overthinking or worrying or or um you know it'll cause you to vibrate low and even become judgmental if they're not i'm telling you this moon not just this moon the moon period is powerful but when it's a full moon this is where you want to really make a decision about something like really make a decision about something like in in this case it's a decision to move on because god may show you that the person who tried to harm you or burn you is actually going through their tower moment because your heart was in the right place your heart was really, really in the right place. So this sun sign may not be a um, Aries, but they could have had Aries in their chart and they were supercharged and just didn't know what to do with all that energy. And I'm not making an excuse for them. They shouldn't have burned you. So what they did, they did it to themselves. But you, on the other hand, are divinely protected. That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't sit somewhere overthinking something and don't, certainly don't take it out on people around you because it, are you good enough? Absolutely absolutely and it will block your money if you're sitting there overthinking it it'll block your peace it'll block your joy everything so this vault is going to open but virgo you determine when it opens so again that's something you want to like i said some of y'all never don't think this vault is going to open some of you all never think that this money is going to come your way and you've been overthinking this based on what somebody did to you somebody told you you weren't good enough 
they 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 didn't do something right they weren't they weren't acting fast enough they did not give you um the praise for the work that you did because they were being used to test you right that's why i don't want y'all to overthink this it was a test to see if you're ready for this vault door to open because believe me more money you're gonna you're gonna encounter the same devils just in different form yeah that was a test for you, but I'm telling you, the, the vault doors are about to swing open, and I'm going to help y'all to speed up this manifestation process. So get your pens and paper out, right? So tons of opportunities are coming your way. When you really sit down, because you all are the I analyze sign, when you really sit down, Virgo, and analyze the steps leading up to this vault door opening for you, and the vault door does not, it's not just money behind this vault door, it's everything that you want. Whatever you've been talking about, you've been wanting, Everything is here. If you want to be in a romantic relationship, boom, it's behind this door. If you want peace, boom, behind this door. Money, boom, behind it. Whatever it is you want behind this door. I'm going to help you all speed up the process. Just try it. Yes. So this is where you want to really lean in and start really balancing out your own energy. Doing things like changing the channel, getting up from this spot of thinking it's never going to happen. When is it ever going to happen for me? You're this close. It can happen any day now. Go find something else to do to take your mind off of it so you don't stress yourselves out. Here we have the two of wands. So I see some of you all traveling. A lot of opportunities are coming your way, Virgo. So again, I almost feel like I'm preaching to the choir when I say don't overthink to Virgos. Because I know y'all think y'all minds are just like, that's like telling an Aquarius to stop overthinking. It, good luck. <laughs> But I'm telling you all are very, very close to it. And, and overthinking it actually delays the release of things that God is trying to send your way. So maybe that helps. Sit down somewhere and meditate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you been taking it out on your colleagues? Have you been taking it out this overthinking? Have people been getting, have you been thinking negative thoughts about people? Like, oh, this person is what I, you know, not, they not what I thought they were. And like really taking out, do you owe somebody an apology? Have you been harshly judging somebody as a result of things not happening as quickly as you want them to happen? Because one person may have caused you to just like explode on everybody. <laughs> like you don't want to do that. Because that's going to drag you down with their karma. You don't want to do that, right? And so you all are a mutable sign. So out of the other two um, earth signs, you all, your intuition is telling you that you're very, very close. But don't get so antsy that it's like making like everybody else around you, they're like a living hell. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Soon and very soon, things are going to happen for you. Find a good book to read. Do something that's going to, you all are, you all are very smart sign. Find a good book to read. In the meantime, busy yourself doing something else besides sitting around thinking, like overthinking this. Yeah. Let's pull one more card and see what it says. Get focused. Yep. Get laser focused because one person's opinion of you does not change the truth the truth of the matter is is that y'all are the bomb <laughs> that's the truth and if that one person who may have been in authority said oh well you know whatever criticism or whatever remember we're moving towards the full moon so they could have been projecting their own insecurities onto you virgo and again you all were over analyzing it there's nothing to over analyze in this case that person is going to go through a tower moment because of what they did to you. All right. This, and like I said, this is what I have for you. I'll see you in a couple of days. Um, oh, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about manifesting because um, I almost turned the camera off. But let me remind you all of this. Okay. First and foremost, everything has been exposed to you, Virgo. This is leading up to this full moon energy. Everything in your spirit has been exposed. So the negative thoughts are what you want to sever ties with. Get your sage, sage your whole house. Get all that low vibrating energy out of your house. Just get it out. And if you don't have any sage, rosemary will do, right? 
Then you want to find a quiet space because not everybody lives by themselves. Find a quiet space where you can really sit down and write out what you're manifesting. I'm trying to help y'all speed up this process because you're sitting too close to everything that you want for you not to open up this vault door from overthinking. And, and also, you don't want to make everybody's life around you a living hell because you're, you know, one opinion is causing you to you'll harshly judge yourselves. Write down what you're manifesting. Put it in a jar, a something, but put it under the moonlight, right? Because this is what you want to come to fruition. Also, water. You can put water in a glass, a cup, or something, but put that under the moonlight. Because when water is facing the moon, mm -hmm, that gravitation, the moon's gravitational pull is even stronger, right? So again... That water is going to help speed up whatever it is that you want. Come on now, speed it up, whatever it is that you want. Because somebody is way too distracted by somebody who is going through their own karma that they created right now. Just because they didn't know how to, they were projecting their insecurities onto you and as a, as a, um, as a, um, divine feminine sign, you all just absorbed it. You absorb their insecurities like a sponge, right? And so I'm trying to help somebody get to a place where you want to, this is a healthy distraction, okay? Yeah, so once you, and, and so we have the full moon tomorrow, so this is something you can do. So hopefully you see the video in time, but again, this is something that you can do. And then even after that, we still have, the moon will still be uh, pretty illuminated. So I'm going to talk about that. That's why I'm going to put up a video in about two more days to talk about that. So um, drink the water or put the water somewhere on your body or whatever. But again, you're absorbing, you're re the replenishing all of that that you poured out. You're replenishing it. That is what I have for you. Go online. You can look up some more um, full moon manifestations or full moon rituals. These are just things that I do and they work wonders for me. That's what I have for you. Bye. See you in a couple of days.